Hello everyone and welcome to my little slice of the internet or if you're listening to the podcast, my little slice of the airways. I'm excited to be with you today to share some changes that are coming through. Today is March 30th, 2020 and I feel it's important to share this date with you because for most Americans, March 2020 has been a pivotal time in human history. While I recognize that every human is going to be impacted differently, I'm sure you have been and will continue to be impacted in more ways than one by the wake of COVID-19 pandemic. Whether I know you or not, know what you're going through or not, or whether I know what your future holds, please trust me when I say I empathize with you. While I wish I could wave my magic wand and turn this world into heaven on earth for you, all I know to do is share how I'm navigating this time. First, I want to tell you about something that happened to me four years ago. You see, my entire life, ever since I was six years old, I envisioned becoming a chiropractor. This was my life's purpose. This was my sole focus for over two decades. This was my identity. My career really became my pride and joy. My office became my baby. And after six years into practice, I had achieved everything I thought I had ever wanted and was living high on life. Until one day I wasn't. Over the course of the year, Different scenarios, situations, decisions, and events, while seemingly separate at the time, multiplied and magnified and weighed me down. My mind was burdened by merely existing, my heart calloused by my past, and my spirit trapped between desire and despair. Prior to 2015, I had felt immune to side effects of challenging times. At this time, just getting out of bed was challenging. I had self-diagnosed myself with depression, and I was navigating through making tough decisions. I was faced with the uncertainty of how I was going to continue providing for my family, and what I used to live for no longer seemed relevant. The life I had built for myself had become the life I wanted to run away from. Today. I love my life and I wouldn't want to trade places with anyone. Looking back, it's clear I was experiencing an identity crisis or what some might call a spiritual awakening. At the time, my entire world had been turned upside down. I felt all, I felt all alone and I had to figure out how to fit into a world that just kept spinning around me. What I went through then reminds me of what many are experiencing now as they navigate as they navigate navigate post COVID-19 challenges. I believe the experience I went through in 2015 strengthened and prepared me to better adapt to the changes we are facing today as a collective. It is my hope that the insight I share with you today and many days to come inspires and supports you in in a lasting and impactful way. I recently shared a post on Facebook by Dave Hollis, and it says this, in the rush to return to normal, use this time to consider which parts of normal are worth rushing back to. And this is exactly what I've done before and I am doing now. Whether we are talking about recovering from this global pandemic or even my own little measly identity crisis that seemed like yesterday, I believe there is no going back to the life as we knew it. I believe there is no going back to life as we knew it, only forward. And this is a beautiful invitation to hit the reset button if you haven't already to create the life you really want moving forward. Today I would like to share how I'm moving forward and to announce something pretty darn exciting. As long as I can remember, even before I became a licensed chiropractor in 2010, a predominant question I would ask myself is this. 
how can I help more people in bigger and better ways? The answers that revealed themselves would then guide me into the exploration, creation, and cultivation of different plans and projects over time. I would use any available resources I could find or borrow, including loans, but this included my time, energy, and money. Some of these plans and projects included chiropractic school, then where I would practice, how I would grow my practice, and then branching off into creating my virtual practice, finding my voice as a podcaster, creating coaching programs and courses, etc. and etc. This is definitely a truncated list. However, I have dedicated my life to discovering new depths of my life's purpose and using that insight to offer aligned and meaningful work to the world. Some of my most rewarding work up to this point has been coaching other entrepreneurs to to uncover and unleash their purpose. This work has never felt like work. The question, how can I help more people in bigger and better ways, still to this day has never left my mind or my heart. Over the past 10 days, as everything I was quote unquote busy doing came to a screeching halt, like it did for humans across the globe, I suddenly realized many of my previous creations no longer seemed relevant. I couldn't continue to bring this work forward with the same concepts and tone they once had. Something had to shift. In the midst of chaos and uncertainty with what felt like the weight of the world on my shoulders, I was still trying to answer this predominant question. How can I help more people in bigger and better ways? So for days with nothing to do and nowhere to go, I got quiet and still. I went within, and what emerged, I believe, will be my most meaningful work yet. All the years I've been asking, how do I help more people in bigger and better ways? I was really asking, how can I be more potent? Potency is what my work has always been about, and now it's going to get even more potent. It's always a big deal when an entrepreneur discovers their superpower, much like I have with this. I've been studying this question, experimenting with the new information I learn, teaching others what I know, living and practicing these concepts of potency for well over a decade, and let's just say say I've learned a thing or two. While I don't claim to have it all figured out, I do feel so grateful to have discovered clarity on where I want to hone in my focus and attention moving forward. For this, I have a global pandemic to thank because without this crisis, I might have stayed too busy to to contemplate my next earthly assignment. Most of the people that come into my world outside of the patients I serve as a chiropractor come into my virtual world. Our slices of the internet collide and connect in some form or fashion. These are usually heart-centered entrepreneurs with big goals or humans with untapped potential just wanting to be cultivated into something meaningful they too can share with the world. Most of you watching or listening to this are probably trying to figure out how to become more potent at the work you do or desire to do one day. I believe God planted potency inside of every human and with his help, we have the potential to be amazing instruments offering up our solutions to help heal the suffering of this world. And more than ever, the world needs your potent healing remedies to emerge, even if you only want to heal yourself first. Deepak Chopra, one of my favorite spiritual teachers said, If you restore balance in your own self, you will be contributing immensely to the healing of the world. If you are consuming this message, I believe you are capable of being a healer in your own way, whether it's through the smile you share, the words you write, the message you speak, the touch you use, the tools you learn, the adjustments you give, 
the advice you offer, the wisdom you cultivate, or the ripple your presence imparts upon those around you, your potency matters. Following the COVID-19 outbreak and the stay-at-home orders that have swept our nation, I now more than ever want to serve the world with my potency, and I want to invite you to join me. This brings me to my special announcement and how I hope I can benefit you. Meet the Potent Healer, created to help healers heal, connect with their greater calling, and find the inspiration and support to offer their most potent work with the world. If you resonate with this topic, I hope you'll come and take the next step with me. There will be a few main ways to be a part of this movement. One, this podcast, formerly known as The Dr. Jenna Show, will be rebranded into The Potent Healer Podcast. And our mission will be healing the wor- helping the world heal one conversation at a time, which I will talk more about on the next episode. If you are just turning in t- tuning in to the Dr. Jenna show, you can catch all the previous episodes, which will help you find more clarity, confidence, and courage to help you create the life of your dreams. This podcast moving forward will also be aired on YouTube in case you like to watch instead of listen. I also want to invite you to join our on our online community, the Potent Healer Collective, which just started a couple days ago and already has 23 beautiful souls in it that I celebrate. And for those of you already in, I honor and recognize each of you because each day you get up, much like me, wondering how you can help more people in bigger and better ways. I look forward to locking virtual arms with you and moving forward together in our potency. The first thing we will work on in the group is your potency formula, which will be a simple five-step process to helping you discover your inner potency. Coming soon. While I haven't figured out all the other details of what's coming after that, I'm excited for the opportunity for us to learn, grow, and get to our meaningful work together. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for showing up and thank you for helping me spread this message. Please comment, tag, and share when you feel called to do so. Every act helps make this message even more potent. Namaste.